Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's your man Nex here with another game of theories to hopefully keep you guys a little entertained whilst we're waiting for that next episode. Speaking of which, today's video is a bit of a special one because it's probably going to be the last opportunity to discuss, theorise or make any predictions about a scene we've all been waiting years to see. Because thanks to the Season 7 Episode 2 preview, we know that Jon Snow is finally going to venture down into the crypts of Winterfell. For anyone who isn't familiar with the theory about Winterfell's crypts, or are wondering how they could be of any importance to the story, in short, it's popular belief that after the events that took place at the Tower of Joy, with Lyanna passing away after childbirth and Ned having to promise to keep Jon's identity a secret so that Robert Baratheon wouldn't kill him, that when he returned to Winterfell to put his sister to rest, he also hid evidence inside her tomb of Jon's true parentage. And one of the biggest attributes supporting that theory is the fact that it was customary for only the Old Kings of Winter and the Liege Lords of Winterfell to be buried in the crypts. However, Ned Stark broke that tradition by having a tomb built for his sister, Lyanna Stark. Many people, including myself from being honest, would like to believe that there was a special reason why he did that. Maybe he just loved his sister so much that he wanted to give her this honour, or maybe it's because he really did possess something that was so important that he needed a place to hide it, somewhere where no one would ever think to look. Because I don't know about you guys, but breaking open graves is not exactly at the top of my list of things to do with my spare time. Anyway, there are some really interesting points to talk about during this video and I'm going to be finishing each section with a question and a poll for anyone who wants to get involved. So when you see that poll pop up in the top right, submit your answer to each question and I'll share the results at the end of the week. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to talk about was the mystery of whether Ned Stark's remains were ever taken to Winterfell so he could have a proper burial in the crypts. After the Battle of the Bastards, in the scene where they're bringing Rickon into the grounds of Winterfell, Jon tells the men carrying him to bury him next to my father in the crypts, which clearly insinuates that, yes, Ned did make it back. But logistically, I don't see how that was possible, considering that it was in Season 2, Episode 4, where Baelish finally hands over Ned's remains to Catelyn, and it was only two episodes later when Theon and the Ironborn took Winterfell. So at what point could anyone have returned his remains before Jon took Winterfell back? In the books, it's a little bit different, and we find out that Catelyn arranged for an escort of his bones back to Winterfell. Assuming they would have passed through the neck, I think there is a good chance that House Reed would have been scouting for any Stark bannermen or loyalists after hearing about what happened at Winterfell, which means there is a possibility they could have intercepted the escort. What do you think happened to Ned Stark's remains? They were eventually transported to Winterfell and buried in the crypts? Forever lost somewhere in the Riverlands due to the events that took place at the Twins? or secretly taken to the neck and entrusted to Howland Reed who is yet to return him to Winterfell. Now then, quick follow up question on this subtopic, George R. R. Martin has confirmed that at some point Howland Reed will be showing up again, although that could be book specific. I think given the flashbacks at the Tower of Joy and with Jojen Reed's little recollection of how his father cried at the news of Ned Stark's death, it would be very disappointing not to meet the man who was probably Ned's most trusted bannerman. I have to believe that there is a huge reason why he didn't join Rob during the War of the Five Kings, and that maybe he knows a lot more about the plans for Bran. Surely, he must know about Jon's parentage as he was the only other survivor from that day, and I just think that there is a lot of information a single introduction with this man could bring to the story. So, how and when will Howland Reed be reintroduced to the story? To return Ned's bones? To get his daughter Mira, Or not until season 8 when the Night King finally invades mainland Westeros? Now, 
Before we can start talking about what could be inside Lyanna's tomb, shouldn't we first take a look at how John would even get to that place of feeling like he needs to even look inside? The only shots we get in the episode 2 preview are extremely minimal, but I think there's enough to figure out how this will go down. The synopsis paints the picture of John having to make more difficult decisions and convincing those around him that they're for the greater good. So in this case, leaving the North and going to take up an audience with Team Daenerys. Perhaps trying to do a bit of soul searching, he goes down into the crypts and speaks a few words with his forefathers. And as we know from this little shot, Baelish is having a little spy on John. So at some point, he must come down to talk to John, and we know that John will be provoked into grabbing Littlefinger. What has Peter told him to get that kind of reaction? Ned was never your father? I know who your mother is. If Baelish does know and does tell John, would that be enough to go inside the tomb? What do you think? Will Jon Snow open Lyanna's tomb? Yes or no? So, on to the final part. Let's say Jon does find probable cause to open up the tomb. I want to discuss the numerous secret treasures that could actually be inside. I've legitimately seen some crazy things suggested over the years, but let's take a look at some of the more realistic ones and the likelihood of them being in there. In the early days of this theory, there was always talk about more dragon eggs being inside Lyanna's grave, you know, because he's a secret Targaryen and all that business. But the problem with this is that unless we start time hopping years in between each episode, newly hatched dragons at this stage in the game won't amount to anything. Unless the eggs would just be more of a symbolic thing. I love the idea that if Lyanna and Rhaegar had a secret wedding, that it might have been documented along with her pregnancy, but then again, I'm sure I can speak for a lot of us when saying I'd prefer to see that in a flashback or a vision. There's extremely popular belief that Sir Arthur Dane's sword, Dawn, could be in there, but for me, I'm keeping with the account that in the books, Ned returned it to the Danes after the war. My personal favourite has to be the idea of Rhaegar's famous silver stringed harp and Lyanna's winter blue rose crown. The thought of Jon actually getting his hands on mementos that belong to his biological parents would be quite an emotional scene and would no doubt make me cry like a bitch. So, voting time. What, if anything, do you think is hidden inside Lyanna's tomb? Dragon eggs? Rhaegar's harp and or Lyanna's blue rose crown? Lyanna and Rhaegar's marriage documentation? Sir Arthur Dane's sword dawn? Something else? Or nothing? Thank you so much for watching the video guys and to everyone who takes part in the polls, I'm really looking forward to see what you guys have voted for. Anyway, there's not long to go now until we'll get the payoff we've been waiting years for. I hope you all enjoyed tonight's episode, 7 blessings and I'll catch you guys later.